Hi, this is Curtis Turner, and today we're going to look at a new product from Easy Wood Tools. Now, Easy Wood Tools is known for making high quality carbide tipped turning tools, but today we're going to look at something rather unique from them, and it's called the Easy Chuck. This is an American made product that carries a two year warranty and has several very unique features, and we're going to take a closer look at those today. Let's start by taking a look at what's included in the package. Of course, you have the chuck. It comes with a standard set of jaws, which are appropriate for turning blanks up to about six inches in diameter. The package also includes a hex key, a jaw key, a spindle washer, a set of uh, replacement set screws and springs, and it also includes a well-written, well-illustrated owner's manual. Let's take a look at some of the uh, features of this particular chuck. First, it's adjusted by using a hex key, which I really prefer the hex key style chuck key because it's very fast to get a quick positive engagement and tighten the uh, blank in the chuck. It's a little bit different than the typical uh, chuck keys where you may have to thread it through the outer body and engage the gears below, which sometimes can be a little bit tricky. One of the innovative features with the Easy Chuck is this zoom ring. And I can operate this just by rotating by hand, and what this will do is expand and contract the jaws. And that allows me to quickly get a grip on a particular blank. Then, of course, you would want to switch to the hex key for your final tightening. Now, one of the really neat uh, features in this Chuck is the ability to quickly remove and replace the jaws. And it's a technique that Easy Wood Tools developed and they call that snap lock technology. And you use this jaw key to insert in a hole on the back of the jaws, depress slightly, and it unlocks the jaw and you simply slide it off. You make your jaw change and to replace it, you slide the jaw on until it snaps and you know it's locked in place. I have found this particular feature to be very fast. The other thing that the jaw key can be used for is to tighten the set screws that are located on the back of the chuck. You would engage the set screws if you want to run the lathe in reverse for sanding. Let's take a look at some options. First, this particular chuck is bored and tapped to fit on a lathe with a spindle size of 1 inch by 8 TPI. There's also a chuck body available that will fit on a spindle of uh, one and a quarter inch by eight TPI. And there's also one available for the M33 style spindles. There's also an adapter available that will allow you to adapt a chuck body uh, that's bored and tapped with the one inch by eight TPI threads and allow it to work with a lathe with a one and a quarter by eight TPI style thread. Easy Wood Tools also makes a range of jaws available, and here's just a few. This is an example of a tall jaw. Taller jaws give you better access to work behind a piece. This particular jaw would be nice for grabbing very small tenons. This particular low profile style dovetail jaw would be good for working with uh, blanks up to about 12 inches in diameter. There are also several other jaws available. Uh, one appropriate for turning blanks up to about 24 inches in diameter. For the last few minutes, I've been using the Easy Chuck to hold this walnut blank. I've already done some work on the interior, and I'm going to uh, do a little bit more work on it.
The Easy Chuck seems to be doing a good job holding this blank. Uh, what I'll do is I'll work a little bit more on the inside of this bowl and then I'll remove it from the chuck and then reverse mount it. Now I'm ready to reverse chuck this bowl and I wanted to show you how I do that. Take the hex key, loosen the, the jaws and remove the bowl. I have a spindle lock engaged and I'm going to insert this uh, glue block that I made from a piece of wood and some foam uh, packing material. And uh, I'll use the zoom rings to open that up and then tighten the jaws down and then use the hex key or chuck key and tighten it down. Unlock the spindle lock, tighten the other side and then I'll remount the bowl. The reason I use this foam packing material is it gives a good positive grip to the blank and does not allow the, the blank to spin and it does not mar the interior of the bowl. Then I go through the process of just lining up and, and recentering the bowl and truing it up and then make sure everything is tightened down and then I'm ready to finish turning the bottom of the bowl. This is my shop assistant, Carson, and he's going to show you how to easily remove and replace the jaws on the chuck. That's pretty easy. Now why don't you go ahead and replace the jaws. Slide it in, push till it clicks. There you go, good job. The Easy Chuck has several innovative features. For me, the most compelling benefit will be the speed in which I can remove and replace the jaws. I think this will prove to be a real time saver for me. I hope you take the time to review some of the features and benefits of this well-made American Chuck and maybe it'll find a place in your shop.